We met Adelina on the day we got a phone call, telling us neighbors were concerned about the well-being of a young woman, who they were trying to help. We met her at a police station, and it was there we could see her poor physical condition. When we asked her where she was from, and if she wanted a drink, she would only respond after she was given permission to. We accompanied her to the hospital and stayed with her during the night. The following morning, she was very uncomfortable. She kept repositioning herself to try to ease the discomfort she was feeling. Early in the afternoon, her condition drastically deteriorated and she sadly passed away a few hours later. She was 20 years old. Adelina's story begins when she was only 15 years old, when she came to work in Malaysia. Upon returning home, she had earned about 1,000 Malaysian ringgit. A neighbor invited her to return to Malaysia and told her if she followed the agent, she could earn the same amount of money in just one month. She left with the agent when her family were away from the house, and the family never saw her again until she returned home to be laid to rest. Unfortunately, this did not just happen to Adelina. Countless women are enticed by agents to leave their communities to travel and work in Malaysia. Women from small rural villages may not speak Indonesian, but speak their own local language. Their homes have limited facilities, and they have never been exposed to what most would consider the modern world, and they are ill-prepared to work as domestic workers. Many of these women don't know their rights and what is fair treatment. Their passports are taken away from them, they are not paid their salaries, and they are afraid to leave and seek help, as they have been threatened with arrest and detention by their agents and employers. In Adelina's case, reports stated that she has been sleeping outside of her employer's home on the porch with a dog. Neighbors reportedly said, we really tried to help her, but she seemed so afraid of something. Her employers, a 60-year-old woman and her children, a 39-year-old son and a 36-year-old daughter were detained and remanded for the investigation into Adelina's death. The photo of Adelina that is on her tombstone is the only photo Adelina's family have of her. It is her passport photo. Adelina was a brave young woman that left the comfort of her family in order to bring money back home to support them. There is no happy ending to this story. Only the hope that by telling her story and raising awareness, her story will not be repeated. Working as a domestic worker is not a dangerous job. No woman should die after being employed to do general housework and assist and care for someone else's family when her only goal is to take care of her own.